Hey guys, it's Doc, and what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about bugs, and we're going to talk about mold, and we're going to talk about mainly on crepe myrtles, but it happens on other trees as well, but crepe myrtles are a killer. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, uh, I've been a horrible plant parent this year. <laughs> Between my tomato plants and my crepe myrtles and everything else, I've just sort of not had the time for them with everything we got going on. But I want to show you something. Um, something I forgot to do last year. I should say something I forgot to do this year. You really need to treat your, if you have crepe myrtles or if you have plants with this problem, crepe myrtles are really it. Um, you need to treat them in the spring. And let me show you what happens so, to them. So let's go look at one of my crepe myrtles. So you'll have something called scale, which is mainly gonna be on the inside here. You're gonna have uh, aphids and white flies. So here's what happens. Now I got some close-up footage of this, and if you turn it over, you're going to see a whole bunch of little white things. You say, oh, what's that white powdery stuff? Well, I'm going to take my magnifying glass, and I'm going to show you what those actually are. Because what I've got, let's see if I can get them. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them. There's one, there's little white flies flying away right there. There's one right in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, they're annoying. But anyways, so let me explain what happens here. The aphids and the little bugs get on the bottom of the leaves and they suck the sap out and they create a little poo called honeydew. The honeydew falls on the leaves and then on the sticky stuff, mold glow grows. It's called sooty mold. So you can see the black. Now this is all wet from the rain. So you can see the black and this actually will come off once you start treating it and wetting it but you can see it's all black on there now this tree i i didn't even realize it was happening but it happens but that sooty that that honeydew will actually fall down look at my azalea my azalea has it on it over here too and there's actually little white things on it so anything that's under this tree is also going to be affected by it so it's just going to fall down and that sticky stuff is where this sooty mold grows. So uh, you can do use, uh, they make a, I actually take a little bit of, uh, I take a little bit of Dawn, put it in water with a little bit of insecticide soap, and I spray it on here, let it sit for a few minutes, and then I really blast it with a garden hose, and I come back and I keep blasting it, and some of this stuff will just blast off with a hose, but you gotta treat, you got to try and kill the bugs too, so you can spray neem oil on it or get an insecticidal soap and spray it on it. But let me show you a tree down the corner that's really bad. While I'm walking down here, don't forget we got about 20 videos coming out over the next two weeks. New fertilizers, all kinds of stuff. Go to the website, click the subscribe button, do all the normal stuff. So this plant I noticed, and yesterday afternoon when I came out here, there were white flies flying all over here. But you can see, like, look at this marigold. See how this side is dark? And that's because that crap is dropping down on here and the sooty mold is growing on here. But look how bad those leaves are. See them? And like I said, this stuff, after you treat it, will come off. But you basically can shut down. What it does is it shuts off photosynthesis and will shut down the entire plant. So you can see that all my flowers from the beautiful crepe myrtle are gone. I mean, it just basically shuts down the plant and over winter they're gonna go away, but they do lay eggs. So you gotta stay on this and treat them. I failed to do that this year. So what I'm doing is I'm treating these. Uh, I'm gonna show you some neem oil that I use. And then uh, I'm also gonna show you what's really cool. I'm gonna show you this little macro attachment for my phone and how I use it to study some of this stuff. So uh, I was taking some video earlier. Let me show you some of that video. I'll put it up. It's pretty cool using this little lens that I, I use it all the time. I've had it for years. The world's greatest fertilizer video will be up, I'm hoping, in a week or two. And that product will be up. I'm not going to put the video up until the product is actually ready to buy on Amazon. Ah, I can't wait. Hey guys, I'm going to break in here real quick. And yes, I'm out here in the sun without my hat on because I kind of wanted to show you something. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a bunch of little white flies flying around here. And so this is a great place for me just to talk about the three products I'm going to talk about and how they actually work. Number one, let's talk about soap. 
Uh, dish soap can be used, and dish soap is kind of misunderstood that it actually is an insecticide when it really isn't an insecticide, really. Dish soap, what it does is it affects the membrane of the aphids and the insects where it can wash off a waxy coating and possibly dehydrate them. That's kind of a long stretch for me because I really got to get in there and I got to make sure that these bugs are really getting washed heavily. You have to make sure you wet and you have to go back two or three times a week for several weeks to get this to really take an effect. So, no, I don't like the uh, I don't like the dish soap method. I do use it, but where I really use the soap method, while it does affect the insects some. I use it to get rid of some of that scaly mold that's on there. There's just these white flies are driving me crazy out here. All right, the next product. The product that I really like to use, of course, is this neem oil. And the neem oil is an insecticide, a fungicide, and a miticide all in one. Uh, it is organically listed. You have to be careful. You don't want to, this will also affect bees, so you don't want to spray it on a whole bunch of flowers. You want to be careful in its use. You read the label, make sure you use it according to the label directions. This is, my, this is the product I prefer. Now I do have a product that I'm ordering uh, safer. I'll put up that. Now that's an insecticidal soap. Um, I will be trying that some on a few areas I've got too. So uh, I'm going to put up a link to this, a link to the safer soap, a link to the little lens. Um, all three of those I'm going to put up on the website. But I want to explain the difference between something that really is an organic um, insecticide, fungicide, and miticide versus soap. Now people also say in soap you can add cayenne pepper to it. Now that's just a deterrent. That's just a deterrent. It really isn't, it really doesn't do anything to kill them. But you can see probably all these little white flies flying around. They are just annoying. And they start, I don't know where they start, but I'm going to find out where they start. But we have had four days of rain. This is the first sun that's been out. So these things are going to be out like crazy. I don't even know if you can see them over here, but they're just flying around like crazy. I got them all over my skin. There's one, there's a little one on my skin right there. Uh, but they are annoying little gnats. Anyways, let's get back to the video. One of the things we're going to be using today is we're going to be using neem oil extract. This is a concentrate. You mix with water and you spray on the plants. Um, I'll put a link up to this on the website for this specific one. This is the one that I like to use. Uh, because you buy this bottle, it's not that expensive, and it's anywhere from one to four tablespoons per gallon of water. So even though this bottle's not big, it goes a pretty decent way. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Pop up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little tool for your phone. Um, this is actually um, it's actually a it's the macro part of a set of lenses. I throw the other parts away, to be honest. I just keep this. I've had two of these. I lost one, but let me show you what happens. So when I put this on, I'm trying to do this. So when I put this on, I want to line this up with my lens hole right there. And then what that allows me to do is that allows me to zoom in really close and get my phone really close to stuff like I'm going to show you here in a minute I'm going to show you what's on this leaf uh, it's a really cool item I'll put a link up to the one that I bought this is a great one to buy but you can get your phone now probably about an inch and a half away from something like this and then you can zoom in it's really cool the pictures it takes so those are the two little things I'm going to talk to you about today I'm going to talk to you about the neem oil and then this little device now I have um, I have the iPhone 7 Plus, which has a really good camera. The only problem with this camera is it has two lenses on it. When you get real close, sometimes it wants to switch back and forth. But um, anyways, so that's the one I use it on, but I've used it on all kinds of phones. And again, this is a great little tool if you're a gardener to inspect stuff. Here. What do we got there? Crawling around. See those little bugs there? All right, here's the other side of the leaf so you can see it. You can see that black on it. I'm gonna rub some of it off. Okay, I just sprayed them. Ooh, I don't think that he likes that. I 
don't think he likes that. Hey guys, and of course UPS just shows up. <laughs> so let me show you this. So there's my Amazon order. Ordered it yesterday, actually. Uh, and this is that insect killing soap concentrate. And I have used this once before too. Very, very good. So that's another link I'll put up on the site. But basically, I've been using neem oil, and all I do is I take uh, these little jugs are like nine bucks. I have a whole bunch of them, and I write what I use it for so I don't mix them up. Like this is for vegetables, mites, and fungicides. And I'll put three to four tablespoons plus about a gallon. This holds about a gallon of water. Mix that up. But when you spray, when you spray, not only do you want to spray go along and spray the top but then what you want to do is take your nozzle and this is why you need to wear some kind of eye protection and probably a mask is you want to come up underneath and actually get the underneath part because that's where that's where if you can see it that's where a lot of these little guys live but they're right on the bottom now there's some during the day on the top but this is just mostly that honeydew stuff and you can see now that I've, it's actually drying, it actually comes, almost wants to come right off. Now that I've sprayed it, oh, there they go, look at them all. All those little bugs and, oof, nasty. But again, if you turn over the leaves, if you turn over the leaves, look at that. They're all over there. They're just all over the place. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you come take your nozzle and cup, um, uh, come up underneath and spray the bottom side and the top side with this. Uh, the first application I did, it was actually, it was a rain day, so I got to go back and retreat this plant. Uh, but again, anytime you see those white flies, anytime you see aphids, it doesn't matter what it's on, um, if you have it on any plant. That safer product is safe for vegetables, vegetable gardens, plants, everything. Uh, neem oil is the same. The only problem is uh, the neem oil, it will affect bees. I'll have to read the safer label, but you just want to be careful not to apply it too heavy anywhere where you've got a big bee population because it will, sometimes it will kill them. So just be careful with it. But again, this is a, this is a bad problem and it just makes your skin crawl when you see it. But uh, just get out there and jump on it and treat it. That's about it, guys. Don't forget, um, you can go to the website, look for this video on the website. Probably put it under insecticides, too. And uh, I'll have links to all those different products, so if you need them. It's always good to keep a bottle in the garage. Just order a bottle and keep it there. So as soon as you see this problem, go ahead and start to treat for it. Talk to you later. Doc.